welcome sa akin channel. This is Vanessa and today sa video ko guys, gagawa ko ng comparison using two foundation stick. Ito, yan. This is L'Oreal uh, foundation stick or Longwear shaping stick infallible. And ito naman yung sa Revolution or Makeup Revolution foundation stick. So, ang shade ko guys sa uh, L'Oreal, no shade ko, 406 Warm Beige. And then, dito naman sa Makeup Revolution, ang shade ko is F8. So, first guys, um, I'm going to have a bare face and then I'm going to um, use L'Oreal sa side na to. Tapos, yung Makeup Revolution naman dito sa side na to. Let's go and get started. So, before natin i-test and i-compare itong dalawang foundation stick from L'Oreal and from Makeup Revolution, I already put uh, moisturizer sa aking face gamit itong Pixie Skin Treats um, Hydrating Milky Mist. I love this one before putting makeup on kasi it moisturizes my skin. And you can also put this after makeup just to hydrate your um, skin. And then for my primer, I used from Too Faced. And this is the 3-in-1 Hangover and pwede din siyang setting spray guys. So, ayan, may primer na tayo. And then, I also did my eyeshadow para complete ang ating look mamaya. Before anything else, let's try first the L'Oreal dito sa um, half of our face. And then, I'm going to use this brush. This is a foundation brush uh, from Sephora. Usually, marami akong pores dito sa inner cheeks and then meron din akong mga blemishes and pimple marks sa um, around the nose area. So tingnan natin kung mako-cover niya. Okay ba guys? Yan. So yan ang L'Oreal. So next, gamitin natin ang um, Makeup Revolution dito naman sa other side. Parang feeling ko, mas, ano to, mas creamy siya kaysa doon sa L'Oreal. Kasi yung L'Oreal, parang nahihirapan yung brush na i-blend siya. Kumpara dito, mas blendable to using the brush compared sa L'Oreal. So, lalapit ako ng konti para makita natin yung um, comparison. So, napansin ko na mas dewy ang Makeup Revolution. Yan guys, so, mapapansin nyo medyo shiny yung side na to. Um, kesa dito. Dito, shiny, pero konting-konti lang. Parang 10% lang, pero ito nasa like 40% shiny siya dito. If you're going for a dewy makeup, I think mas magiging bet nyo ang Makeup Revolution. Ito, itong foundation stick nila. So, kung kayo naman ay oily or combination yung skin nyo, I think magugustuhan nyo yung L'Oreal Infallible um, Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation. Ayan siya yung L'Oreal para sa oily yung skin, I think. And then, yung sa Makeup Revolution naman, if you're going for a dewy um, makeup, okay siya. Tsaka sa mga dry skin, I think mag-work well itong Makeup Revolution. Doon naman sa under eyes, napansin ko na mas okay yung L'Oreal. Mas nako-cover niya yung dark um, dark circles. And hindi siya agad-agad na nag-crease. Pero dito, sa Makeup Revolution, dahil uh, medyo dewy siya, moisturizing sa skin, which is good, may tendency na baka by the end of the day, mag-create siya ng crease. Pero to avoid that, syempre, gagamit tayo ng setting spray. So, tapos na tayo sa foundation, guys. Ngayon, gagamit naman tayo ng pang contour and blush to finish off our makeup look. For the bronzer, I am going to use um, this one from The Balm Cosmetics. And ito yung Bahama Mama uh, Bronzer Powder. And gagamit tayo ng brush. Ito yung favorite bronzing brush ko, guys. Um, Napaka-soft niya. And ito yung from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. So, ayan. Gamitin lang natin tong brush. And then, I'm going to swipe it sa aking um, cheeks. For my nose, I'm going to use the same product. And gagamit din tayo ng Luxie 249 na brush. Merong flat blending brush. And meron din sila nung parang stippling um, brush sa dulo. Which is, you could also use for blending. Yung 
concealer na gagamitin natin is ito from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. And for my blush, I love this one. This is from L'Oreal again. And this is the Paradise Enchanted Blush. Yung pinakabago nilang um, line ngayon. So, gagamit tayo nito and I'm going to use my favorite brush for my blush. This is from Luxie and this is the 660 Precision Brush. Sometimes, naglalagay din ako guys sa ilong. Ito, dito sa bridge ng nose. Parang fresh ang dating. So, sa lips, guys, gagamit tayo ng medyo bold na color um, this time. Um, ito naman is from Smashbox. And this is the Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is a matte finish, guys. And sobrang gaan niya sa lips. And hindi siya drying, guys. That's it guys. Ito yung aking finish look for today using both foundation na sobrang nagustuhan ko guys. So again, this is the Makeup Revolution. Tapos ito naman yung sa L'Oreal. Hindi pa ako naglalagay ng setting spray guys or anything. Basta ano lang, um, ano to, bronzer at saka blush. Yun lang. Wala pang finishing powder or setting powder. Yeah, hindi sila tacky and I really like how it's like that. Lagi naman natin ng powder, guys. So, ang gagamit tayo ng uh, Becca. Ito yung bago nila. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Yan. So, pwede siyang mag-set and it really refresh. Alam nyo, guys, um, ginagamit ko to for a couple of weeks now. And ito siya. Ayan, very fine yung powder niya, guys. Um, I think it's translucent powder din. Kapag ina-apply ko siya using my powder brush, ang, ko, ang weird, guys, ha? Ang weird talaga. Kasi kapag ina-apply ko siya ng, ano, <laughs> using my powder brush, tapos once na dinab ko na siya sa skin, parang feeling ko basa yung, ano, yung brush. Pero hindi, it just gives you that cooling effect sa skin. Pero maganda siya talaga kapag in-apply sa, um, sa skin, sa pores, parang meron siyang blurring effect. Apply natin to sa mukha natin. Ayan. ba Parang nag-blur. So, yun. Yun ang kinagusto ko talaga dito sa ano na to. Sa powder na to. Ano siya? Nagbibigay ng flawless look sa makeup. Ayan. So, in-apply ko lang guys sa isang side para lang makita nyo yung difference. So, ayan. Ito na yung makeup um, revolution. Tapos, ito naman yung sa L'Oreal. So, ngayon parang matte na yung, ano, yung side na to. So, it's really interesting guys. Kung gusto nyo, itry itong Becca. Okay siya talaga. Nag-apply din ako sa noo. Mapapansin nyo parang wow. Parang naging matte na siya, di ba? Tapos parang nawala din yung shiny na effect. Yan. So parang nawala din yung mga wrinkles, mga ganun. <laughs> Maganda siya. Yun. Tapos, uh, mag-apply din tayo sa um, L'Oreal dito sa side na to. Tingnan natin. So kung papansin nyo, di ba? Parang shiny dito sa side na to. So let's see. Try din natin with Hydra Mist. So, yeah. So, let's see kung paano magre-react itong mga foundation na to under the powder. Um, yeah. So, that's that. And, let's see. Let's wait mga a couple of hours. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Hi, everyone. So, nagbabalik ako ngayon um, after mga 5 hours. And, it still looks good on me. And, I can see na itong side na to, it's a little bit getting oily dito sa part or dito lang sa area na to. Usually kasi sa ilong ako, agad-agad na nag oily guys. Tapos, dito naman sa Makeup Revolution, parang wala naman nangyari. Parang, it's still the same. So, ayan. 
yung Makeup Revolution. It, I think it's still the same. Medyo matte lang siya ng konti. Dahil sa um, setting powder. So, yun ang effect niya guys sa setting powder natin kanina. So, it really works well with the setting powder as I could tell. Um, hindi naman siya nag-oily. Although, ako talaga, madali ako mag-oily pagdating na mga kahit 3 hours lang. Ayan. So, that's it guys. I hope you like this video. Um, yan ang aking review about this product. So, ayan guys, yan ang aking um, thoughts about this product. I hope you guys check this one out sa store kung available na. Um, I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and also don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel and check out my giveaway because last on my last video guys, um, I have a giveaway and it's still open until now. It's available worldwide. Kahit na sino, pwedeng sumali guys. Sali kayo. Check that one out and hopefully manalo kayo. And that's it. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a great, blessed week, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!